You know, I have been feeling extremely nostalgic for past Yu-Gi-Oh lately, and I thought it would make for an interesting discussion video, especially now that all of the Yu-Gi-Oh news is finally kind of slowing down so it doesn't look like I'm uploading the same thing every day. <laughs> so let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher the 1100 Super Saiyan ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sitting at like, what, 1,143 subscribers? I mean, it, it's been doing really well as of late, and I really do appreciate all the support. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I, for one, have been trying to uh, get into a rhythm with this new, really dog shit full-time job. And that's what brings me to the topic of today's video. I've been feeling so nostalgic for old Yu-Gi-Oh! as of late. Specifically, 2008 to 2010, a little bit of 2011-ish. And I feel like I've been feeling a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! nostalgia lately. Just with seeing all of the news that's been coming out in Yu-Gi-Oh! as of late. And now we have the new illusionist monster type with, you know, Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, all that new stuff and that is really cool to see at the same time though between things that have been going on in my life and seeing all the Yu-Gi-Oh news and all these new decks coming out we're entering in another core booster set of Yu-Gi-Oh we're doing this for lack of a better term song and dance again it really oh and also because of all the synchro support coming out like how Duelist Nexus is getting that spell card Duelist Genesis that seems really busted it's been really me, been really me, been really been making me nostalgic for, for lack of a better term, old school Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, Go Format is a bit different to me in my mind because I wasn't playing competitive Yu-Gi-Oh in 2005. You know, I didn't go to my first locals till like 2008, two weeks before they changed the fusion deck to the extra deck. I know it was two weeks because I went to two locals before finally at my third one, they said the fusion deck, to quote my friend Charlie Chaplin, shout out to you, Charlie. Uh, your fusion deck is no longer called your fusion deck. It's now called your extra deck. All right. I don't want you, I don't want to hear y'all calling it the fusion deck. It is now your extra deck. And it was just like extra deck. Like, what is this? <laughs> so going back and revisiting those old formats, thinking about where my life was back in that time, you know, I was born in 1996. So to me, like 2008 and then the early 2010s is like my teenage years, you know, my junior high to high school years. So I really feel like that I have a lot of fondness for that time period, even though I really hated school growing up and stuff like that in college was some of the best years of my life or university for those of you in the UK. There's still that innocence slash naivete that is impossible to get back. And back in this time, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh was honestly a lot slower. People said that Synchro's ruined Yu-Gi-Oh when it's like, nah, man, like you look at how Yu-Gi-Oh is now, go back to Teledad format, go back in 2007 and play fucking Gladiator Beast when they were like tier zero. The format was so different. You think like, you know, the format is crazy now. I mean, you know, go back to a simpler time and you're gonna be like, what? This is too slow. This can't keep up. Yeah, because the game's evolved. And I don't think that that's really helped by this new full-time job that I have. For those of you who haven't really been keeping up with the channel, basically, uh, that's kind of why the uploads have been a bit sporadic, is because I started this new full-time job, and then my hours changed like four or five fucking times, and I'm working on a fucking radio station. Like, you would think that the hours would be basic, but no. For a while, they had me working 4 a.m. until 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Like, who the fuck wants to work that? So, that threw my body all out of whack. That really messed with um, my medication timing for my cancer treatment. Uh, for those of you newer to the channel, that's what my book is about that I'm always, you know, plugging in the description is um, BHL, which stands for Von Hippolyndau disease. It's a rare type of cancer. So dealing with all that, dealing with all that anxiety, a lot of fucking imposter syndrome too, feeling like I, I shouldn't be in this job role, you know what I mean? So dealing with all that imposter syndrome, dealing with all that anxiety, thinking I'm not good enough, trying to get good at my job, still trying to get good at my job even today, and then just feeling all this nostalgia for a simpler time. And I bring this up because I feel like that this happens to a lot of people, especially whenever people are like, oh, old school Yu-Gi-Oh was better, because that's what they remember. That is what they are fond of. That is, you know, times where they remember just having so much fun with the game and not all this wombo combo pendulum crap, 
you know, exceed summon out your asshole crap and fusion summon into a vicious astral that's going to kick you in the nuts. Like, <laughs> people, people miss the more simpler times. And I think that that can go for life in general, too. You know, like I said, with like the 2010s and stuff, that was my teenage years. I remember going to dance sports cards and games and getting there by like 11 o'clock in the morning or something like that and playing Yu-Gi-Oh! until, you know, two, three o'clock in the afternoon, going home and chilling out for the rest of the day. Sunday, just chilling out, relaxing before I start my week of school. And it makes me emotional to a degree because, you know, you always hear people say that you never know you're in the good times until the good times are gone. And I feel like, at least for me, those mid-2000s and early 2010s, obviously before Dragon Ruler format, is the prime of Yu-Gi-Oh! for me. I was certainly not as good as I am today. I definitely feel like I'm a much better player today than I was back then. But the nostalgia and my, my genuine love for the game that began to form even more uh, was formed in that time because I knew about Yu-Gi-Oh before 2008 and all that happened, but I didn't play competitively. I never went to a locals. I remember going to my local Books a Million. That's how I met my buddy Greg. Shout out to you, Greg. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I got into the game that way and then, you know, it just formed once I started going to locals. And then, of course, I got massively competitive when I went to regionals and YCSs and the rest is history. And I still love the game to this day. Don't get me wrong. I've already made a video. I know I've talked about it before, but I made a video talking about why Cash Tira is one of my now favorite decks of all time in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! And that I still love this game. I think what I miss the most, though, is the friends that I've made along the way and you know, the memories that I've made. And yeah, my dad and I still play together, but I definitely feel like, and I think my dad can attest to this, he definitely plays it more casu of a casual level because the game is just completely changed for him and it's not what he's used to. It's not even what I'm used to anymore. It's just so evolved, but it's still the game at its core that I love. And man, if, if there was ever a way to go back in time and just enjoy those years of Yu-Gi-Oh, I would do it. Like, now that I'm working Monday to Friday, finally on a decent fucking schedule of 8 to 4, <laughs> um, I feel like now I'm suddenly in a place where I've gone from not working because I was on medical leave before my previous full-time job dropped me like a bad habit. Now I'm in this full-time role, not feeling like I'm even worthy of it, and then having all this nostalgia for Yu-Gi-Oh! and not even really messing around with the game because I'm trying to learn Super Heavy Samurai and still trying to learn Purely, and now there's a regional coming up May 6th here in Florida that I don't even know if I'm even going to go to because this format's just boring. And it's just a really weird place to be in. And I love the fact that Konami is supporting <clears throat> um, older formats now. But to say that I'm not nostalgic for old times is definitely a lie. I mean, I, I definitely realize now how... I guess, for lack of a better term, better life was back in the day. Maybe maybe I'm getting old. I mean, I'm only 26, but man, I just, I miss the days where I could stay at home and talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! and play Yu-Gi-Oh! and live my life. And I really want it back, to, if I'm being honest. At the same time, you know, I've had to face realities that I don't think a lot of other people have had to face being a Yu-Gi-Oh! player. You know, I have a cancer that could maybe one day wipe me away from this earth like a Thanos snap. You know, I just saw the other day on uh, Facebook in my local Yu-Gi-Oh community where a player, I didn't really know him that well. I had met him before at Locals, um, but he died in a car wreck coming back from the Kissimmee Regional that I went to a couple months ago. Uh, and it was only recently put out there that he died in this car accident. And um, I wish him, you know, his family and loved ones and friends and all that the best. I wish I could have known him properly. I only talked to him one time and I just didn't really know the guy. And I think that that kind of sparked the fire in me of nostalgia even more after I heard about that. And it, it's rough. It's really rough. And that's why I also love making videos because it, it's like I can keep that spark alive, you know? Whether one person watches the video or 10 people watch the video or over a thousand people watch the video. You know, I've been through some rough shit in my life. And if I can do my part in this community and, you know, make your day better for at least, you know, 10 minutes of your day, then I've, I've done my job. Whether 
my cancer treatment keeps me on this world for another 10 years or another year. I have a community. I've built up this audience that I thought I would never have. And damn, it feels good to be able to say that. <sighs> Guys, let, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I love you very much. And I'll speak with you again very, very soon.